More than 4,000 black women joined the wax and the waves and served in segregated units. Many found themselves relegated to menial jobs in mess halls and laundries. There were only four black nurses in the United States Navy during the war and 500 in the Army. Their assignment was to care for black servicemen in the segregated military hospitals. They were not permitted to care for whites. That policy changed after a contingent of black nurses was sent overseas to care for black casualties. Upon their arrival in England, the nurses were welcomed by Brigadier General Benjamin O. Davis, the first black general in the history of the U.S. Army. Captain Petty and nurses, I am told that you are the first colored nurses to come to this area. I know that you are going to live up to all of the traditions of your noble profession, and the American people expect great things of you. That month, most of the American casualties were white. The black nurses were ordered to care for wounded German prisoners of war. There was public outrage. Army hospital rules were changed, at least in England. But most racial discrimination went unchecked. German POWs were often treated with more respect than black GIs. But it was different at home. The black serviceman was a hero to his family and his neighbors. Two million black Americans were working in the war plants. Many of them were women. For black war workers, just as for whites, the war meant steady work and high wages. But that was not all. There was the matter of patriotism, of contributing to the war effort, which concerned black Americans as much as it did whites. Harlem needed air raid wardens, after all. There were hundreds of black volunteers for civil defense and war bond drives. For any kind of job, they were allowed to do. 